Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dee and this is How Dee Does It. Today, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of this Beatles nail tips and glue set and then show you what I created using these items as well as some Beatles nail polish that I previously purchased. So let's just start off by taking a look at the outside of the box. First thing I do notice is that Beatles logo and then it tells you exactly what you're gonna have inside of the kit. Nail glue, nail lamp tips and tools for the application. Their social media pages. It does list some of the ingredients and I did notice right off the bat that the nail do glue does contain HEMA. So be careful if you have that sensitivity. Also some directions, storage tips, and again, everything that is included inside of the box. So inside of the box, we do have a package insert. And on the package insert, it does come with directions, some frequently asked questions, as well as nail tips, and also how to reach them on their social media platforms. So the first thing out of the box are the nail tips, 240 pieces in 10 sizes. These are full cover nail tips. They are in square long and come in sizes zero through nine. And I can tell you, I'm very excited about these nail tips and you'll see why here shortly. When I open up nail tips, I automatically go for the size zero because I do have larger fingers and wider nail beds. And I was pleasantly surprised that this size zero was too big it is very rare that I find a, a nail tips where the size zero is not the size of my thumb. Um, most of the times my fingers are consistent, a zero, a four, a two, a three, and a six, going from the thumb to the pinky. So when I try this one on, this one does fit perfectly. I am so happy. Um, that at least I do have where I can go a size up and that's important. So if I want to do like the lazy girl method for the poly gel, I can. I think this is like the real first nail tip kit that I have found where I am actually starting off in a size one. So kudos to Beatles. Thank you. The tips themselves are made out of acrylic and ABS materials. They are thinner towards the cuticle and thicker towards the free edge and not much of a C curve. It's um, kind of a natural C curve. They are not super high around the apex. So I like these. The next item out of the box is this acrylic nail tip cutter. Fits in my hand nicely and I have a larger size hand. Um, and then it has this washable file 180 grit and of course we already talked about the nail glue it is a medium thickish uh, consistency it does contain HEMA so again be careful if you do have that allergy and the last item out of the box was another one of my favorite things is this cute little nail light and it has written on it nails in lights on and of course if you take your nail out the light does come off it did come with the usb-c charger core it was 120 centimeters so it was very long which i appreciate um i do use the nail lamps um with a portable charger that's on my desk and that way I can keep the number of things that are plugged into my actual socket down to a minimum and the cords from getting all tangled up and all over the place. And here I am just seeing how sensitive the light is or how close I have to get to it in order for it to cure. The light was pretty good. It did actually cause me to have a heat spike a couple of times in the nail set that I did. Now let's get into this nail set. This is a very easy and beginner friendly nail set that I'm doing today. 
and I am so excited and you'll see why later on in the video. If you've been watching my channel, you understand. The first thing that I am going to do is just apply cuticle oil to all of my nails and then I will go in and rub this cuticle oil in. This is because I am doing the pop off method after I'm finished doing the video. I will just take and literally peel the nails off. They do come off very easily when you do this method. The next thing that I am doing is going in with a layer of top coat and then I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. Of course, if I wanted these nails to last, then I would do the proper prep work. I would push back my cuticles and remove all of that uh, cuticle from the nail bed, buff my nail plate and remove the oily surface, go in with a dehydrator and then with a primer. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is actually apply the base coat to all of my nails and then cure that for 30 seconds. And the next thing I'm gonna do is actually use this base gel to apply the nail tips because by the time I went to record the video, I could not find the glue gel. And I'm just going to apply these by adding a small amount to the cuticle area of the nail tip and then lowering it onto my nail until the base gel hits the tip of my nail and then I'm going to lower it into the light and I like to cure it just for about three to five seconds. And then I'm going to repeat this process over all of the nails. So while I'm doing this and it is repetitive, I'm going to play some music. But before I go, if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy the content this far, give the video a thumbs up. And if you're feeling generous, give me a blue heart emoji or leave a comment. And I'll be back. You can still go, even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle a lot, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway. And in the driveway is a nice range. Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain. You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief. Uh, they deceive with the negativity. But I just slide right by that energy. Uh, even when you feel low, you can still go. Here are some of the things that I'm planning on using. I have this marble foil and it has these gold um, veins in it that I don't necessarily like. So I'm actually going to use this nail foil in place of it. And then I am going to use some nail colors from the Beatles collection. Um, and then these glitters, I'm not sure where all of them came from. If I can find them, I'll of course link them in the description. The gold foil did come from Young Nails and a couple of the glitters did come from Daily Charm. I want to say one of the glitters came from Model Ones and the others from Amazon. No hope, you can still go. I never ran, said a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Here is what the nails are looking like all applied. And I'm just going to use this Beatles nail file that came inside the kit. It was a pretty decent file. And I didn't need to do a lot of work because these nail tips are very flush to the nail and they're not really thick and raised up around the cuticle area. So the most I'm going in and doing is just fouling off that little tip that is on the end and then going up underneath the nail and doing a little fouling and cleaning up on the side walls just to make sure that everything is flush in those areas. And then the next step, I'm just going to use this same file just to buff up the nail tip so that I can apply my nail art. 
But even that could change You could flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts saying Turn them to a game Take the best thoughts saying Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past start a pain And you'll find a door Open it up And finally explore Everything that you thought You could never do Slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no, man, I still go Go, go Once all of the filing and buffing has been completed, I'm just spraying my hand with 91% alcohol and then going in and making sure that all of the dust has been removed. I also like to go and wash my hands just to make sure that I get everything off because sometimes it will leave the nail tip white after it dries and I personally don't like that look from underneath the nails so I do show you later on in the video how I cover that up and the next thing I'm going to do is just go in with a thin layer of base gel just to fill in some of those rough places where I buff with the hand file Now we are at my favorite part um, to the nail designs and I just use different colors of blue going from lighter to darker as I move from the pinky to the thumb. And since polishing nails is so satisfying, I'm going to shut up and just play some music for you. Now this is where the magic starts to happen. I am going in with a thin layer of nail glue, nail gel glue. Um, before I was using some air dry, um, but this time I use some that you actually have to cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. So after I cure it, I do let it cool down for about five seconds and then I just go into rubbing. I start with my fingers just to get it on good and then I go in with this silicone tube and just rub, rub, rub. And as you can see, there are some places that are already adhering to the nails and starting to lift from the floor which is a good sign for me so I'm kind of getting excited already but I'm gonna stay through to the end so again I'm just rub rub rubbing and the more I rub the more exciting I get but I'm gonna play it cool because I have been let down so many times in the past by this fall but wait do you see what I see? This floor has all but come away from the nail. And oh my gosh, I just cannot believe it. 
I think this may be the first time that this actually happened that I had a smooth application. And look at that. Look at that. I'm going to freeze it for you. You see that foil? There is literally nothing left on that foil. It came all off on the nail. I am so happy. And this Zule's Foil Transfer Gel. Now, I know her glue is good, but this foil gel, that's a 10 out of 10. All right, I have to calm down because I just got too excited there. So, the next step, I'm just going in. And like I said earlier in the video, in those places where I have that fake gold looking um, spotches on the foil, I'm just going in and adding some of this gold foil flakes to my liking. The next thing that I'm going to do is just go in and add some of these glitters. I did start off using the iridescent one. And what I just wanted to do was just basically go around and wherever the light would catch it, I wanted to put it there so that in every time I turned my finger, you would catch um, some of that iridescent glitter. Um, then I went in with this darker green glitter and also a little bit of uh, milky white just to add some depth to the nail. The next thing that I do is go in with my top coats and for the foil finger I'm using what came in the Beatles kit. It does come with a, a glossy top coat and it does come with a matte top coat which the Beatles is one of my favorite matte top coats because it doesn't leave streaky lines in your nails. <laughs> Okay, remember in the beginning of the video, I told you that when I use alcohol, it sometimes makes up underneath the nail look white, and I don't like that. You can see here what I'm talking about. So I just added a thin layer of top gel and placed the iridescent gel in it, and then I cured it for 60 seconds, and that took away all of those white spots, which made me very happy and added a unique feature to the underside of my nails. After I finished curing, I just touched it to see if I could live with the feeling of that and it was still too rough. And so I went back in with another layer of top coat to cover up that rough feeling and to prevent me from picking at my nails. And the final touches was just to add the rhinestones. I did use one gold ring um, that surrounded the rhinestone on my porter finger. I did go in with just a few caviar beads. As I said, this was a very beginner friendly set. The high point of the video for me was when the foil released. If you have ever struggled with nail foil, you understand um, that it is my nemesis, but I am enjoying the Zule's nail foil gel glue and I will continue to find other gel glues until I figure out one that works every single time. As far as the Zule's, it did let me down um, in another set that I did and I'm not sure if it is the actual glue, the technique, or the user or if it matters with the actual nail foil that I'm using. Again, more tries it's not going to defeat me with all that being said i am going to just let the rest of the video play out because i have been doing a lot of talking and i will come back towards the end of the video <laughs>
my friends, we made it to the end of the video. And the last thing that I'm going to do is just add some oil and revitalize my cuticles. And here is the reveal. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. I did get some outside shots just so that you can see it in a different environment. And there are more videos to come. So we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.